guys and welcome to this continuation video on <clears throat> how to play the G blues scale and this is a few riffs and licks that I like to use to make it sound extra bluesy and they're quite cool I hope you find it useful here we go okay then here we go so by now you should be happy with this blues scale you should know how to play them and in a few different keys if you've been following my beginners course you'll have been fully aware of these so what I'm going to do is, as I've explained before, when you want to make licks and things, you don't just want to run up and down the blues scale all the time. Because it sounds really boring if you do it slowly. Great, sounds like you know a scale. But that's all it does, it just sounds like a scale. The idea is that you make a melody, you've got to make a little tune up from your, um, from your little run. You still use the same notes, you don't necessarily have to put extra ones in, and um, soon we'll talk about that a little bit later in the video about using extra notes as well. But you can you get away with using just the blues scale, but make sure you make it interesting. So, maybe take a fragment like... F, G, F, G, G. You notice how I hold that last one on a bit longer. Nice and bluesy, nice and slow. Sounds cool, anyone can do that. F, G, F, G, G. Put a bit of vibrato in there, just like I did, um, just like I did. If you don't know how to do vibrato, check out my business course. It's a perfect way place to um, learn how to. Then add some more fragments to it. F G F G G F G B flat G. Then maybe if you get higher, you could think about putting a little bit more intensity and volume in. So growing a little bit. So that's basically only notes of the G blues again. B flat G F B flat G F F G G at the end. So little just cool little fragments, not tricky but sound really quite bluesy. G, G, B flat, C, C sharp, C, B flat, G, G. So they were using rhythm to make things sound interesting, and that's what it's all about. The rhythm is more important than anything else. So walking through the um, scale again. So just dwell on different notes, that's another little idea you can use. Da 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 ya. that's a C sharp. G, B flat, C, C sharp, C sharp. Now that's a very interesting note, that one's. That G to C sharp, it's a very freaky interval. What we call an augmented fourth or a diminished fifth, whatever you like to call it. We even heard it called the devil's chord. Uh, it's just um, quite an interesting sound, a bit sort of angry and dark. Then you can put that exact same little lick that we did before. So dwell on the C sharp. G B flat C C sharp C sharp da 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 da. So you can even growl on that if you want to, just to make it even more angry. Quite a cool thing. So what I want to start doing is heading towards a peak in a little bit of a tune. We want sort of a, a peak of our little melody. So what I want to do is head towards palm key D. So in this um, penis course, that's where I've got up to. Palm key D. I'm wanting to head towards there. So I'm going to do a bit of noodling around at the bottom and slowly head towards that palm key D. And once I get there, I'm just going to dwell again. But as I go, I'm going to add, add um, intensity by adding dynamics and experiment with this. So let's do so I'm heading towards that D. So I can jump around at the bottom and do an octave leak. Oh, um, pretty much um, sixth. D, F, D, F, D, D. D. 
quite a cool sounding thing. Notice how I'm not just playing the D normal. It hasn't got anything to it. I'm really putting a lot of energy into it and I'm also doing lip slow as well. Pulling that sound down, bring it back up. It's quite easy to overcook that, so just be careful. Then coming down again, I've hit my peak, now I want to sort of take it all away. That's kind of a nice time to bring down your, um, your blue scale again. So notice the rhythm there. Dagger, da, dagger, da, 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 So although I'm just using a small handful of selection of notes, I'm adding dynamics in there, I'm adding different articulation with the way that I'm pulling down the notes and doing scoops, and I'm also making the rhythm interesting too, to keep it just interesting. One last little tip I'm going to give you guys is, you can also add notes to this scale as well. Add little additives. For example, adding F sharp to that last run gives it just a bit more of a, almost kind of a rocky blues kind of feel. So, going from the D, I've just hit my D. Coming down. So you hear the F sharp in there, it just gives it a little different kick, doesn't it? So from the top. D, C sharp, C. B flat, just a normal blue scale. G. F sharp. F sharp, F natural, that chromaticism. G, F sharp, F natural. the end, instead of going F, G like we have done before, go F, dwell on an F sharp, then G. Really nice ending, especially if you've got, uh, if you're doing your blues backing track and you've got close five going to call one. Always going to sound good in any key that is. Um, sort of seven, uh, not ma minor seven, major seven, normal seven. Oh, <laughs> Alright guys, so there's some things to mess around with. What I do is I practice just little fragments, adding that F sharp and are trying to get to a peak in your little phrase. Mess around with it, see what you can do. Let me know in the comment section below. And if you've got any recordings of yourself messing around with blue scales, I'd love to hear them, so definitely post them to me and give me a link. Alright guys, catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!